Yeah, so here we are, back with another movie review. It's time to review IF, or Imaginary Friend, as it would be abbreviated to. I'm Bobby Munson. I'm coming at you with a new movie review. This is IF 2024. Uh, so this movie that, you know, will, is starring Ryan Reynolds. It's got uh, Steve Carell as the voice of the big purple monster that you see behind me there. A uh, myriad of other actors and actresses throughout this that are also involved with this particular motion picture. And written and directed, I believe written and directed, directed for sure by John Krasinski. Uh, you know, everyone will know from The Office. Uh, I better know as well, too, from A Quiet Place, A Quiet Place to the direction on that. Love those movies. Looking forward to Quiet Place uh, Day One, I believe it's called, uh, coming out this year. I know that he's not the director of that one, but very much looking forward to that as well. I think it's going in an interesting direction. But here was his opportunity at another movie to show us his chops as a director. Very much anticipated seeing this movie. Had high hopes for this movie. I thought, you know, if there's anybody that's going to be able to really give us a good family comedy drama with a lot of heart and a lot of depth it was going to be john krasinski was i right not exactly and here's the problem i'm not saying that if for if if yeah if if is a bad movie it's not a bad movie i had some laughs the the acting of course it's 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 quality i mean you got quality people you're gonna get quality acting no matter what happens the problem that plagues if is predictability and just general like this is something we've seen before it doesn't really offer a whole lot of different it's got this great great design to it the i the ifs the imaginary friends are are fantastic looking there could have been so much depth to these characters but it gets muffled in this whole storyline going on that becomes very predictable and one note at times that it takes you out of it Again, I found myself interested in the movie. I found myself laughing a few times in the movie. I find myself on the better half of this. I'm not saying don't see If. I'm not saying If is a bad movie. I like If. It's good-ish. Um, it's, again, another movie coming out around the blockbuster summer season that it's going to get lost in the shuffle pretty darn quick. I don't think this is going to be one that's going to draw massive crowds by any means, uh, especially with it not exactly getting favorable reviews. I think it's going to be rather damaging in that sense too, because you're coming in in a season where, you know, movies are coming out hot shot, a couple of every single weekend that have got names behind them and everything. So that is going to sell people quickly. But your longevity is going to depend on word of mouth and the you know, types of reviews that these movies get. And unfortunately, neither word or of mouth or the critical reviews for this movie are going to do it any justice. It got mixed reviews, and it probably deserves mixed reviews. I can see people's frustrations with this particular picture. I can see the opposite side of it where... This is a it's it's a family film. You could take your family to it. There's nothing that's really going to overly bother the children or anything like that. It's cute. It's harmless in that sense. So again, it's a nice family type film. That is a great opportunity. But the problem is the family films used to once kind of make a difference. They had an impact. They had intriguing stories with intriguing characters that drew you in. This wasn't quite that. It wanted to be that, but it didn't quite hit the mark in my opinion. And I'm not going to give away spoilers to anything, but trust me, if you're, you know, a typical movie goer that goes to the movies often enough that knows you've seen this kind of stuff before, you'll have this thing figured out within minutes. I remember watching this and getting a part way in to look at my wife. Guess what? This is this. And she goes, yep. And that's that. It's, it's that easy to figure it out. And then nothing about it really draws you in enough to make you care and have it be long-lasting, impactful. If is a one-off experience. That's kind of it. It's a kind of a one-time watch. Watch it. Get what you need out of it. And really, it's off to the side. I don't know if this is ever rewatchable or if it'll find a cult following one day. But I think that, unfortunately, this is not going to be one of the top movies when it comes to remembering the work of John Krasinski. It's definitely not going to be one of the tops when it comes to the work of Ryan Reynolds either. Uh, but with that said, 
Have you seen it? Have you not? If, let me know in the comment section below. We do broadcast here over on O.L. Lee's YouTube channel. That's where you're going to be able to find anything O.L. Lee podcasts, uh, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, or else all of our socials. Reach out to us. Let us know what you thought of this movie or what other movies you'd like me to review in the comment section below. Always checking them. Always up for a friendly chat. Let's chat and talk about movies any single day of the week. I love to know your recommendations for movies that I should check out. Maybe I haven't seen or ones that you'd like to see me review. Open to all suggestions, so let me know what you'd like to see more of here on the channel. We've got content coming out on YouTube every single day, whether it be live streams, uh, regular content, or our clips and shorts that come out. We have got something every single day from all wakes of life when it comes to the world of pop culture. So hopefully you like this. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell. That's going to really help us out. And as for me, myself, that is where you're going to be able to find me. That is my social media outlets there at the bottom, as well as my personal Twitch channel, Video Row underscore Bobby Munson. So thank you very much once again for tuning in to this movie review. Let me know if you gave it a thumbs up, thumbs down, or what your star rating was. And if you have a channel that reviewed it too, let me know. I'd love to check it out and show some support. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. and. Have yourself a wonderful imaginary friend-like day.